333 crypto as always i'm doing my DeFi and crypto update please understand everything i say is hypothetical and speculation i'm not a financial advisor so please make no financial decisions based upon anything i say all right the market hey uh you know it's uh the market is a little finicky a little finicky i think it has the holiday jitters um but i'll tell you i think we go up from here i think we go up from here i am starting to believe and I am an Ethereum madman. I love ETH. I do think we'll see 10K ETH. I do think we'll see it in 2022. Um, and ETH today is at uh, $4,533.57. You know, and that's great considering we were at, you know, $100 ETH, um, you know, not quite two years ago, a year and a half ago. So ETH is looking good. The use case for ETH goes on and on. I mean, DeFi, you name it. Uh, it is what it is, right? NFTs, that type of thing. So Bitcoin at 56,000 is struggling to get to 60. Um, I do think we're going to see a little run here with ETH and Bitcoin. Um, I don't know if we're getting a little bit of a pause for the next couple of days. I'm not sure, but I have a sneaking suspicion. If you go back here on the 30 day, I have a sneaking suspicion we can see a nice run here over the weekend, the weekend that's coming up. If you look here, beef, uh, I said ETH. Um, if you look here, Bitcoin, Bitcoin was at its all time high um, right here at $69,044 around uh, November 10th. Um, so that really wasn't that long ago, one month ago. So on the 30 day, you know, we're down you know, to 56K. I just don't think that's a big retracement. Um, we did really have some decent volume going into this all-time high, um, but right now we're just seeing a bunch of oh, neutral to negative things in the news. But the reality is I think we're going to see a turn back up on Bitcoin, um, and I think we're going to see a nice little run uh, into January. So that's just my opinion. Again, I don't give financial advice. I simply speculate and hypothesize, and your job is to make your own decisions. So, And I do think it's going to be the same with ETH, but I'll tell you, the more I dig, the more, um, the more I dig and the more I pay gas fees, the more I see that really these gas fees just are not sustainable. Um, and as such, we're just going to see way more here on layer two. So now we've talked about um, Arbitrum, and I am a big Arbitrum fan. Now, I do want you to learn how to bring your money over to Arbitrum, and I do want you to learn how to bring your money over to Polygon. So I'm going to make some videos on that um, fairly soon. There is something called an Arbitrum bridge, and there is a Polygon bridge. Um, so that's real simple. If you just Google those, you can find those. But you should really start dabbling in that and trying to figure out how to do just that. The other thing is Avalanche is the next one that we will be messing around with and Phantom also. But if you go here to Arbitrum, um, you know, there's only $2 billion that's moved over to Arbitrum. But it really isn't the amount. And I do believe, you know, follow the money, no doubt about it. So if this doesn't continue to go up we're going to have to keep a close eye on things but it's who is moving over to arbitrum and i'm not going to get into that today but we have a lot of good players moving over there and i agree again we talked about uniswap moving over to polygon um lots of big players moving over this way too so we really have to keep looking at alternative chains and we also have to look at layer twos and of course avalanche which continues to garner the most attention and money coming its way that is another one we have to pay attention to. Now, Avalanche has given some massive monetary incentives for protocols to move over. And I know how the DeFi space typically works is folks will move over, collect those incentives, and leave. But I don't think that will happen when it comes to a massive influx into a chain, whether it be Arbitrum or Avalanche or Phantom or Polygon. I think once folks move to Avalanche and get settled in, that's where they're going to stay. But the real players in the game to follow are these players that are on multiple chains. And I really like AnySwap. Um, AnySwap is a token, oh actually I'm sorry, is a website where you can basically um, move your money from one chain to another and it's really really a, a nice protocol i've used it myself to move money and i really really like it and if you're not familiar with any swap you should check could should check it out um i'll go right here it's trading at 15 dollars and 30 cents now 
it's a little bit expensive from a token perspective, but it is a good solid token and I do think it'll grow slowly over time. Now we've been following smaller caps. We're trying to find the rocket ships for 2022 and we are finding those. So we're going to buy those, plant our seeds and be patient. But you need to get familiar with AnySwap because if you go right here to AnySwap, folks, this allows you to bridge over from one chain to another. For example, right here, if I had a dollar of USDC, you could see USDC, or say $100. On the ETH chain, I can take that money and put it here and then bridge it to, see it says to, my USDC to another chain. And there's BSC chain, which is Binance Smart Chain, OEC Mainnet, Matic, Phantom, Arbitrum and AVAX, which is Avalanche. So you can use any swap to move your money from ETH over to alternate chains. Now, I also talked earlier about the Arbitrum Bridge, so let me show you that. Now, if you go right here to bridge.arbitrum.io, that's A R B I T R U M, this is the Arbitrum Bridge, and this is a very simple. Uh, protocol to use. You come in here, you use your MetaMask or your Coinbase wallet or whatever wallet you're using, and you hit log in. It'll sync to your wallet and it'll allow you to move money from your ETH MetaMask wallet over to Arbitrum. And that's all on MetaMask. And again, this is self-explanatory. So you need to go dabble with this and check it out even before I make a video on it. Now, the other one we have here that we can use is we can use the bridge for Polygon, yes, the Polygon Bridge, and that can be found at wallet.polygon.technology. And here you can use the Polygon Wallet, you can use the Polygon Bridge, you can do Polygon Staking, and then there's some other neat things you can do. It's beyond the scope of today's video, folks, but you need to be familiar with the Polygon Bridge, you need to be familiar with the Arbitrum Bridge, and then you need to be familiar with the AnySwap protocol, because these are three ways you can move your money from point A to point B. Grab $10, go and practice. Well, you might not want to do that because the gas fees are so high. Maybe move over $100 or $200. Again, I don't give financial advice. This is a DeFi channel, but you have to learn how to do these things. So that's what I would do, folks, because the more I look, the more I see that the future belongs to alternate chains and side chains, okay? And, and and I just keep looking at all the money here and all the protocols and look at all these protocols that protocols that are on multiple chains, Empire Dex right here, Sushi Swap. They're always way ahead of everyone else. 11 Finance, Elk, um Sea Bridge, right? Auto Farm. I mean, I've looked at all these folks and I've dug deep on most of them. Synops, where, you know, the time will come where I bring you these little gems. But if we want to find the next 1000x folks, this is where we're going to find it. We're going to find it here and we're going to find it early. We are going to really work towards finding tokens that will blow our minds in 2022. And this is where we're going to find them, folks. It just is what it is. So I want you to become familiar with this. I want you to understand it. I will make videos to assist you. I am not concerned about the market. I think the market is going to be just fine. I just think we're seeing a little, you know, I like the red for a couple of days, a couple of weeks only because it's, it's it builds a solid base for the next move up. And if you go back here on Ethereum, folks, and I always tell you, we follow ETH because DeFi follows ETH. If you go back on the 90 day, we were here at 2,900. I remember being here and I remember telling you we're going to hit five and then we're going to hit six and then we're going to 10K. I still think that's the case, folks. And if you go back here on the 180 day, it's just been up and up and up. And if you go to my Twitter, I tweet all the time how ETH continues to burn, right? It's constantly something I tweet on my Twitter site. Um, and, and it is what it is. Plus, we got so much good news right here. Multiple banks exploring Bitcoin-backed loans. JP Morgan exploring Bitcoin-backed loans. Fidelity, Bitcoin-backed loans. It's use case, folks. It's it's burning of the ETH tokens. It's multiple banks, you know, using Bitcoin. It, there's just one thing after another. Now, if you're a Badger Protocol user, they had a big time hack today. Big time, big time hack, and they were hit for about 120 million. That's a lot of money. I like the Badger Protocol. I like the folks behind it. I like the, there's a, they have a lot of good followers who just love Badger. I feel for you. Hopefully they will get that fixed. Um, see right here, ETH burn 
439 ETH burned in the last hour. I posted this three hours ago. ETH continues to burn. As the supply goes down and the demand goes up, the price has no choice but to go up. It is what it is. So we can't forget that. We cannot forget that. This little tweet here by Chris Black, he's saying basically the type of protocol problem that Badger had that resulted in the hack is not, not covered by insurance. So that $120 million or $120.3 million loss um, is just lost funds, folks. So I'll keep I'll keep an eye on that and make sure that um, you know if if you know some good news comes up, I'll let you know. But again, if I have Badger uh, folks here uh, following my channel, I do feel for you, and I'm sorry that that happened. So I did a video yesterday on Idle. I really like the Idle protocol. Uh, if you didn't watch that video, please watch it. This is one of our little hidden gems that we're going to plant the seed for in 2021, and we're going to basically harvest in late 2022. So, And this philosophy's tweet was good. It said, yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. That is roomy. Folks, it is difficult to change the world, but we can change ourselves. We can make ourselves better. We can make the world around us a better place by just becoming kind and decent and knowledgeable. Learn about crypto. Learn about DeFi. Share it with your friends. Share it with your neighbors. It's exciting. It's the financial uh, future, basically. We're looking at the future of finance. It is what it is. So God bless. Have a great day. Thanks for listening and know that I appreciate you. Bye.